LA to create a plan that will keep all students and faculty safe following the encampment that caused unrest and chaos on campus. While it has been cleared there, there are still concerns moving forward. NBC4's Tracy Leong joins us live with the latest. Tracy. Yeah, Colleen, I spoke to leaders with the Jewish and the American Muslim communities. Both believe that safety needs to be the top priority here at UCLA, and they are demanding UCLA provide security for everyone, something they say did not happen during the protests this past week. Tensions boiled over at UCLA during a week-long encampment where pro-Palestinian protesters dominated Royce Quad calling for a ceasefire in Gaza and demanding UCLA cut off ties to Israel. Come on. Come on. After violence erupted between protesters and counter-protesters, UCLA ultimately made the decision to cancel classes and remove what they declared was an unlawful assembly. Officers arrested 210 pro-Palestinian protesters, including students and staff, for vandalism and trespassing misdemeanor charges. This is about security. This is about the university enforcing its own codes of conduct. The American Jewish Committee, along with the Anti-Defamation League, spoke during a press conference on Friday, expressing their disappointment with UCLA and how they allowed the week-long pro-Palestinian protests to disrupt campus safety and intimidate Jewish students. For those who violated codes of conduct, who violated the law, they should face consequences. There are time, place, and manner restrictions on campus for a reason for the safety of all students. Across the country on college campuses, the ADL has seen a 423% spike in anti-Semitic incidents since the start of the Israel-Hamas war on October 7th, compared to this time frame last year. Many, many students and faculty members have expressed to me their dismay, their shock, their fear, sometimes their terror at what is unfolding. However, the civil rights managing attorney for the Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE, said the protests were an opportunity for students to exercise their First Amendment rights. We believe that the encampment was lawful, um, and we believe that any indication that these students were engaged in any sort of unlawful violent con uh, conduct is just simply not justified. And while pro-Palestinian and pro-Israel groups may not agree on the conflict in the Middle East, they do agree UCLA needs to prioritize security and clarify their protocols when it comes to keeping everyone safe. We don't need every group to get along. I don't believe that there is neutrality in situations like this. But what we need is for UCLA to guarantee for peaceful protesters that they guarantee them their First Amendment constitutional rights to freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. A safe and secure campus for all Bruins, Jewish and non-Jewish alike. A climate free from fear, free from intimidation, free from blockades, free from violence. President Biden recently addressed the college protests, saying there is a right to protest, but not a right to cause chaos, going on to say that it is against the law when violence and vandalism occurs, something we saw here at UCLA. Reporting live from UCLA's campus, Trace Leong, NBC4 News.